This is a demonstration of the E2V Pose Ball Vendor. This vendor allows your customers to try out your couples or group poses without the inconvenience of having to sit on a pose ball set, then get up, res a new one or move to a new one, sit again, etc., etc. With this vendor, your customers can scroll through your poses without having to stand or move to another set. In addition, like all E2 vendors, the Poseball vendor allows your customers to purchase your poses with cash, store credit, or as a gift for someone else. I'll be showing this demo by way of a fictitious store called Second Sin, where Janelle is the store owner. Let's get started. And here is the Poseball vendor. And as you can see, it's offline right now. So the first thing we're going to do is edit the configuration note card and connect it to Janelle's store. So we'll go into inventory, open up Poseball vendor config. Her store ID is 110. Her password is demo for right now. The price is the base price of all the Poseball sets unless you specify differently for a particular one. We're going to say all of our poses go for 150 Linden and they'll each give five reward points. There are then some of the standard fields that come with all of the E2V vendors, and at the bottom there's a couple new ones that tell uh, what the name of a pose ball is going to be, the floating text, and also what color it's going to be, and you'll see those soon enough. Once we save this, the vendor will automatically reinitialize itself, and you can see now that it's online. The next thing we'll want to do is install our pose ball sets into the vendor. This process only takes a couple of steps, but I'll go slowly on the first one and explain in detail, and then I'll go faster on the second one just so you can see that it only takes a couple of minutes to install a pose. The first step to getting a pose ball set installed into the vendor is to simply res the pose balls and position them above the vendor in the spot where you want your customers to be posed. So we'll take Janelle's first pose set here. We'll res it out and we'll move it up to a, what's probably a reasonable position. We'll all have a seat on it. And then all we need to do is just position it as you normally would. We'll say that we want them to be turned sideways and up a little higher and moved over a little bit. And once you have it relative to where the post stand, where you want them to be, you're finished with positioning it and you can move on to the next step. Now that we have the pose balls positioned where we want them, the next step is to let the vendor grab a copy of the animations from each of the pose balls and also record their positions. And the way we do that is very simple. We'll edit the pose balls. We're going to turn on edit link parts and we're going to take a copy of the pose ball installer script and place it into each pose ball. Once you've done that, you're ready to let the vendor do the rest of the hard work. I'm going to close this and I'm going to open local chat so you can see what's about to happen. All we do is we click on the vendor, we pick the install button, and in a moment the, the vendor is going to spit out some text into local chat. This is information about the pose that we'll need in a moment. Now, once you've pressed install and the vendor has uh, output this text into local chat, you actually don't need the pose balls anymore. So we're just going to delete those. And we're going to take a quick look inside the vendor here, just to show that what happened is the, co the animations from the pose balls have both been copied into the vendor. And now what we're going to do is put in a note card that tells the vendor exactly how to handle that particular pose. Inside the pose ball vendor folder, there is a blank note card, and we'll drop this over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to change this name to be the name of the pose. And it's called Embrace. And we'll open that note card up. And what goes in here, the text from a local chat goes in here. So we'll grab this. And we'll right click and pick copy. And we'll paste that in here. The title of the pose would default to the name of the note card, but uh, we can call it uh, something more fancy. 
the object name is going to be the name of the item that you're actually going to sell to the person when they buy this and it's called SS Embrace. And the price, we'll leave it blank so it'll use the default price of 150 lindens. Now we'll save that. And that is all it takes to enter, to install a post set into the vendor. We'll do one more really fast before turning the vendor on and taking a look at the poses. Okay, we'll quickly run through installing one more pose. Uh, that's this one that we have here called shoulder. And again, um, the steps are simple. I'll go quickly through them, um, but sort of talk about them as I go. First thing we want to do is res the pose set, uh, and we want to position it relative to the pose stand where we want our customers to be seated. So we'll have a seat on it. And once we're on, we'll uh, turn it to face the right direction. Get this up there like that. And that looks about good. Of course, the woman is always floating in Second Life. OK, once we're on there and we have it positioned, we don't need to be on there anymore. So we'll get off, and we'll get me off too. And that's all we need to do as far as the pose balls go. Now we'll edit these. And you remember, we'll place a copy of the install script into each pose ball. And the pink one. And once the scripts are in there, we're now ready to let the pose stand grab the information. So again, we'll click, we'll pick install. And here's going to be our information that we need. And once again, we're going to go into inventory, we'll grab the blank pose note card. And this one is going to be called shoulder. So we'll rename this to shoulder. And we'll open it. And we'll get uh, local chat back up, which is where the information is for this pose. And we'll grab all this text here copy it, we'll paste it in the note card, and we'll just put a cute little title here, and this object is called, going to be called, SS Shoulder. This one we're going to say that we're going to charge more for it because it's, I don't know, somehow better. Um, so we'll say that this one's actually going to be 275, just so we can see a difference between them. We'll click the Save button. Close this, and close this, and close this. And now we're ready to get rid of this pose and reset the vendor and see if our animations are actually working. All right, we've installed both sets of pose balls. And we're ready to turn the vendor on and make sure that our poses work. We haven't actually put the pose ball set inventory into the vendor yet, uh, but we don't need it yet until we actually are going to be selling something. So. We'll click the menu, and now we're going to choose the reset button, and that's going to reinitialize the vendor and load all of the poses. You can see that it's going to start here by loading the first pose, which is Embrace, and the price you can see is 150. Now there are no pose balls. Customers can't res the pose balls, only you can res the pose balls. So what you do is you pick the res balls menu item, and the pose balls will show up, and they'll initialize to the name and the color that we put into uh, the configuration note card. And we can now test out these poses by having a seat. And as you can see, they are where we put them. And we can scroll to the next pose as well. And everybody will adjust. And the next pose loads just with, the, uh, with the special pricing that we put in it. And that allows your customers to cycle through your poses without having to get off or res new pose balls.